Hey! What? What are you doing? I'm listening to a sermon. We have to go, I have a show! It was canceled due to COVID. It's not canceled due to COVID. They got a bigger venue, less people, social distancing, sanitizing everything. Why are you still in your pajamas? What is the hurry? Because it's in the mountains and I don't know where I'm going and I can't see very well at night. I can't see at night? I'm blind? Do you think that I would go there? Go get dressed. I'll get ready as soon as I can. Are you all right, dude? Yeah, I'm sorry. How much time do I have? 20 minutes. I'll get ready as soon as possible. 20 minutes. Could you be a little more patient with me? You've always been so on the edge when you well, talk. Well, you're so me. slow. You have plenty of time. Now you got 10 minutes. I thought you said we had 30. 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I saw you at the show the other night. I appreciate you being there. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show you my appreciation tonight. Yeah, I'll see you. Yeah, I'll come by a little after 11. All right, bye. Who's that, Mark? Uh, really? Why don't you stay out of grown folk business? It's not about you. You don't need to worry about that. But in case you are wondering, that was Oliver. Oliver? Oliver. Is that his real name? It don't matter what his real name is. You know what his real name is? One, two, three, four, five, six pack. That's his name. What? What? What is what? that supposed to mean? I just don't get you, that's all. You don't get what? I don't get the way you treat people. The way I treat people? Men have been doing this to women for years. The way I treat people? Yeah. I'm not cheating. It sounds like cheating. They right? all know what I'm about. Yeah. And no cheating going on here. I don't know how you can fix your mouth to say you aren't cheating. You hook up with a different man every night? It's not every night. It sounds like I cheating. I have to give myself a rest, and it's not cheating. Whatever. It's sad. What's sad? It's sad. You know what? What? What's Mama sad? Mama would be very disappointed. You know what? You should shut up with that. Way. You should shut up with Seriously, that. Seriously, you remember what Mama went through when she was raising us? All the men she had and the way they treated her? I'm not letting any man treat me any kind of way, and I'm treating men quite well, thank you very much. There's nothing cheating going on here. I'm not doing anything wrong. You know what? I'm just going to say it. Go ahead and say it. You know what? Because you're blind, you don't even get any action, so you don't even understand Whoa. what it's like. Yeah. That's, that's below the belt. Below the belt. No, it's not. It's the truth. I may not have the same struggles that you do, but I struggle with my sins just like everybody. Like The Bible says that all have sinned go. and come short of the glory of God. Here we go. So I'm just like you. But you know what? I'm not mad at you. I love you, and I'm going to pray that God touches your heart and brings you back to him. You know, why don't you pray that I have safe travels and I have a good night? When you go on your walk of shame tomorrow, would you please come back and bring me some shame. ice cream? I, that's what you're going to say at the end? Ice cream? Yeah. You know what? Whatever. I'll bring you some ice cream, because I know your disability check is coming. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you're doing good things with that, too. Is that you? Yeah, I'm here. Why don't you answer me? I just want to be left alone. Okay. 
Can you turn that down or put your headphones on? What's wrong with you? I just said I wanted to be left alone. Would you like me to pray with you? No, I don't want you to pray with me. I want you to go somewhere. Fine. Fine. Fine, I'll leave. Good, go. I'm going. Heaven. Hello? Yeah, this is she. Yeah, Friday at three. Yeah, let me check my calendar. Yeah, I can be there. Okay, thank you. Darlene, are you sure you don't want to talk? No, I don't want to talk. You know I'm here for you. <sighs> Telly. Yes. Do you remember what we were talking about the other day? I'm not sure. You want to give me a clue? The stuff about God. When I said that God forgives all sins? Yeah. God loves us so much that he gave his one son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins so that we could be forgiven and go to heaven. What if you're the worst person ever? Like, what if your sin is the worst sin ever? I mean, is that sin even part of the package? Jesus died for all sins. And last I checked, all included everyone. Even you, sis. Thanks, big bro. You're welcome. Would you like to pray with me? Yeah. Heavenly Father, I pray for my sister, that you will guide her to you, and that she will accept your love for her, and that she will open her life to you, and that you will grant her peace in whatever she's going through right now. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna give you some time alone. Heavenly Father, I'm a sinner. I accept your son who's died on the cross for me. And I just want to live my life. I just want to live my life the way you want me to live it. Please forgive me. Please forgive me of my sins. Amen. Hi, big brother. I want to start out by telling you that I love you. And I thank you for always being such a great example of a true Christian. By the time you hear this letter, I will be gone. Earlier today, I found out that I have AIDS and that I've had it for a while and been sick for a long time. I even thought it was COVID, but it wasn't. The doctor asked me how many partners I've had and I had to tell him over 15 just in the last month. I can't live with myself. I can't live with myself knowing that I have put so many people at risk and possibly have infected lots of men and ruined lots of families. I'm sorry I let you down, but I can't deal with knowing what I've done. I hope and pray that God forgives me of this sin. And I want you to know that this isn't about you. This isn't about the love that you showed me. 
when I get to heaven, I'm going to apologize to mom face to face. I love you. I love you, big brother. Darlene, is that you? Darlene. Well, that was our regional weather update. We now have some breaking news. The identity of the woman that fell from the fifth floor of Robinson's Hotel has now been revealed by the police as Darlene Fletcher. Her friends and family have been informed. Moving on to other news, 